In our video today, we're going to talk about how to create an exploded view. So first, we're going to assume that we already have an assembly made. And then we're going to actually go down here to where it says standard.ipn. When that comes up, we're going to insert a model. Actually, it's going to pop up and ask us what we want to put in there. So we're going to look through and find our assembly that we want to put in. So for this, I'll just use a, a birdhouse we built. So the first thing I'll do now is I hit Tweak Components. And I'm just going to click one and use the arrows and drag those out. Now you notice that I can specify an actual dimension. Here I'm going to tweak components again. I'll go ahead and put that at the same as the other. And down here I'll tweak this one, drop it down some. And I'll just kind of zoom out. And here I'll go ahead and tweak this one. Push this out of here. Try negative three on that. And then here as well, then I'll go ahead and rotate this a little bit. What I want to do before I move on is I want to actually do new snapshot view. So I'll click that and that will actually create the exploded view that it's going to call on when we try to pull this up into an IDW file. So the very first thing I have to do before I go to the IDW now is I'll actually have to go ahead and save this so that it knows. Notice I'm saving it as an IP in now. Now if I want, it actually created a video. So if I want, I could rewind that and hit play. And then you can actually see a video of it exploding. So now that we know it works, I'm going to go in here to new and I'll start that IDW file on it. I'm going to use base. And because it's the last thing I drew, you see it'll automatically pull that up. If I do not want to show these trails, I can uncheck it right here. And then I'll hit OK. I do want to go ahead and make sure I use a shaded view on this. So now I'll go up to annotate and say balloons. And it's asking me where I want to save it again. Now remember, you want to double click to end. I didn't double click well enough there, so it's going to let me continue going on. Once I double click, it'll be fine. To finish it, I'm going to go ahead and do a parts list. So I need to select the view. I don't really have to do anything here. I can just come over here and click the drawing. And then I simply just click OK. And then I usually put them up here in the corner. And there you go. Now you have your parts list. If you wanted to be more descriptive, you could double click in the table. And you can actually type in here. So if you wanted to type more of the dimensions of the wood, or whatever material you're using, you could do that. Or for that matter, you could even put in the description of the material. So maybe it was made out of pine or made out of plastic. 